Nice to meet you. If you are ever lucky enough to meet Avery Tool, good luck keeping up. Kelsey, do you like my pink roses? She is a very active six year old living in Boston. Say hello with the clap, clap, clap. Making it hard to believe that a year and a half ago, she was in the fight of her life. Like there were so many times that I thought she's never going to come home to her room. Avery was diagnosed with hypoplastic left heart syndrome as an infant. She had eight open heart surgeries before turning four and a half. In March 2009, her heart failed. That was the only time I think that we just thought, oh my gosh, there may be nothing we can do for her. Avery needed a new heart. Saving her meant another child dying. Hundreds of miles away, eight-year-old Dalton Lawyer was also in the fight of his life. The College Station boy was on vacation with his family in Ohio when he was struck by a vehicle while riding his bike. He suffered major head injuries, and there was nothing doctors could do. We were just hoping, you know, that something would happen that would, you know, make him wake up. Dalton died five days after the accident. Jim and Jerry Lawyer donated his organs. I remember we said, well, if we can't save Dalton, we're going to save someone else. And, and I truly believe that, even though I didn't know who, who was going to be saved. On August 6, 2009, Avery received Dalton's heart. To see her now and just see her energy and her ability to total, not just keep up, but really kind of you know, sort of fly past some of the kids in our class is just amazing. Like, you just never get used to that. Mike and Cheryl Tool decided to reach out to the family who gave their daughter a second chance. A couple of days before Thanksgiving, Cheryl wrote a letter. Where to start? To be in the position as parents to write this letter and try to find the right words that despite our heartfelt intentions will forever we'll fall short of our eternal gratitude is beyond explanation. The lawyers received it a few days later. If you ever wish to correspond, speak, or meet, our hearts, doors, and arms will always be here for you as you were for us. We hope our gratitude helps to carry your spirit and sorrow. Cheryl, Mike, and Avery. It didn't take long for them to respond. So I just emailed her and I said, um, I got your letter the other day and, um, and, and I told her that it, it really meant a lot to me and that that um, if you ever want to meet the family of the, um, the boy whose boy's heart that um, now lies in your daughter, um, please respond or something like that. Emails turned into phone calls, and a year after Dalton's accident and Avery's transplant, the two families met for the first time. It was unusually natural, like, I don't ever remember there being an awkward moment at all. There was an instant connection. They spent a week in Martha's Vineyard, staying together in a small three-bedroom home. By the end of the trip, they became so close that it's almost as if Dalton's brothers were Avery's. It left us with a really good feeling to know that um, at least this little child will have a chance. They quickly made plans for their next vacation. This time, the tools would visit College Station. On March 11th, they flew into Austin. The lawyers were there to meet them. How are you? I'm like, oh, there's the I know, you're all <laughs> There were smiles and hugs. <laughs> and it didn't take long for Avery to warm up and keep up with the boys she now calls her brothers. That trend continued when we caught up with the two families a day into their trip. They visited Pebble Creek Elementary and College Station where Dalton went to school. Ty! A tree is planted there in his memory. Avery was especially touched. Avery doesn't talk about what she's been through, but it's clear Dalton is a big part of her life. She knows that Dalton was someone who went to heaven. She needed a new, needed a new heart. He gave it to her. Um, he's her brother, and she's better now. I think that's. I think that that's probably how she looks at it right now. For now, Avery is learning what it's like to be a kid, thanks to a gift that gave her life.